The next chart we're going to talk about, the chart library, is Victory. And it has similar um, likes on GitHub as VizX. Um, you can see that the footprint, it's pretty low. It's only 164 kilobyte. It supports uh, TypeScript. It has uh, modules. It has mock data. The simplicity, you'll see for the, from the example we're going to create, it cannot get simpler than that. It's really, really simple, and you, re you don't really need to understand D3 or anything. It doesn't have styles, and it has document documents, examples, um, a lot of contributed contributors, but double the bugs than these X. So um, let's take a look. If you look at the GitHub, see you got 8.9 thousand likes and almost 500 forks, almost 150 issues. They have a website, the dedicated website, it's called uh, formidable slash open dash source slash victory, and it shows example documents um, and all of that. Um, the chart we're going to be building is just a simple pie chart that has labels, and this is almost like an hello world, and you'll see it's really simple to build it, so let's get started. What we need to install is uh, just victory, so type in terminal yarn add victory and that will install the library there you go um, then let's go to our component folder and create a new folder and let's call it simple pi and create a new file and let's call it simple pi dot tsx and then let's create a function component, let's call it simple pi we don't need any props and remember to export default simple pi and then we need to return what we render so I'm just gonna throw in an empty tags return I always have that error <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna throw in an empty tag and then inside once the installation of um, victory is complete we can just call victory victory pi it's not loading it for me so I can just import it manually So we can, I'm just going to import it manually from victory. So import victory. You see, you have victory area, victory bar. Um, so you have all those libraries built into it, and you can look at the doc um, to learn how to use them. And don't forget to import React for our function component, otherwise it's not going to recognize the JSX. Okay. Now all that we need to do is we just need to set data. So I'm just going to write it in line. And the data, we're going to set um, object of what is the x so the x matrix we can do it as cats the y would be just any value we want so we have two metrics one for the name one for the value and let's give it some values dogs cats dogs and birds and for the y which is the pi I'm just going to give it some values. There you go. And that's all that it is. Let's go to localhost. Actually, before that, we need to um, add our simple pie to our um, app TSX. So just we need to add simple pie into our JSX. And let's go to localhost. There you go. You can see we have a pie. Um, if I'm resizing my pie, 
you can see that when we created a pie and um, we did a calculation of the width and the height to make sure that it fits into our screen and um, here the out of the box I didn't set any style and it's not working like that so you can see really the trade-off when you start using those vanilla flavor libraries so see we have to scroll down even though it was we're able to create it in really in two minutes and um, the trade-off is that to start customizing it and to start getting it exactly how we want we're gonna need to, you know to work with the style we're gonna need to work with the code we may need to fork it we may um, come across one of the if you go to github one of those open issues you have around 150 so um, you know if you again if you're creating a proof of concept that's great and it can solve you know if you're not picky or the client you're working for is not picky that can be a great solution but still investing in d3 and learning how to build everything in d3 um, has a value and will ensure that anything you're trying to build uh, you'll be able to achieve